So to, to drain the coolant, here's our water pump. Locate the lowest bolt to the bottom of the water pump, which is gonna have a copper washer behind it for sealing. Grab a drain pan and uh, go ahead and loosen the bolt. Okay, and the coolant's not gonna come out until you take the radiator cap off, so go ahead and loosen the cap. There's a little screw to hold the cap on. Remove that before you'll be able to twist the cap. Now be careful, because once you loosen the cap, the water's just gonna <laughs> come out of here like it's under pressure. So even tip the bucket up a little bit. So we have to drain the coolant because, well, first of all, it's not allowed on the track. And if you do spill it on the track, it becomes very slippery. So we'll drain it, fill it with water, and uh, don't forget to put coolant back in it in the fall when you're done riding. So the coolant drain bolt is one of the, one of the many bolts we're gonna drill for safety wire. Um, basically anything with fluid behind it's gonna end up being drilled. The coolant bolt, the four bolts for the oil filter, the oil fill plug, the oil drain plug. We're also gonna do caliper mounts, axle, nuts and bolts, banjo bolts for the brake lines at the caliper and the master cylinders. Okay, one of the most trickiest parts about building a race bike is drilling for safety wire. Now, you're gonna use small drill bits, you got a lot of bolts to drill, and you're probably gonna break a dozen or more drill bits. If you don't, come drill them for me. <laughs> anyway, um, there's different ways you can do it. With smaller bolts, you can go straight through. You can see that go straight through. Um, on bolts with a dished head, you can catch one side and go into the dish. It's gonna be a lot easier to drill these. Nuts, you go from flat to flat. I don't know if you guys can see through that. And uh, there's numerous ways of doing it. You can do it on the bike. You can do it in a drill press. You can clamp it in a vise and freehand drill it and uh, clamp them in a pair of vise grips and drill it. Uh, I prefer to do it freehand, but it's, it's gonna take you a while to figure it out what works best for you. So I'll demonstrate on drilling with a pair of vise grips. Clamp the bolt in the vise grips. Pick it at the shoulder so you don't crush the threads. If you damage the threads of the bolt, the bolt will be useless to you. Always wear your safety glasses when drilling. Pick a flat and start drilling. So there's one drilled. Now you gotta take your time, go slow, light pressure, and faster drill speed is not necessarily the best way.